a machine that crushes everything, another that builds roads in no time, or a knife that cuts steel. Make yourself comfortable. Here are the eight latest technologies that make workers' jobs easier. It's a Sunday morning. You don't have much to do. You're sitting at home, looking for an activity. Then, you finally decide to open this old garage that has been used as a storage room for over five years. Just to do some spring cleaning, you realize that the garage is full of junk, irreparable bikes, trinkets that belong to your grandmother, and that you won't be able to sell for a penny. Steel statues too ugly to give them a new look. If you don't know what to do with all this, we suggest this incredible shredder. It has the ability to shred anything you throw at it. Its sharp and ultra-powerful teeth have the ability to crush everything. And that's good. You've seen one in the big scrapyard of the city. So you take the things you want to get rid of, and you take them to the scrapyard. You won't be asked to leave your stuff to the terrible crushing rollers of the machine. Bicycles get smashed to bits, statues get powdered, and rusty barrels get flattened like leaves. You are amazed at how the machine can crush any object, no matter what its shape, no matter how big it is, and no matter what materials it is made of. Of course, you are afraid of such a spectacle because the machine is extremely dangerous for those who do not know how to use it. But that doesn't concern you. You did what you had to do. Your garbage thanks you, and you feel much lighter. You are riding your bike in your neighborhood, and you decide to stop for a walk. You naturally decide to attach your bike to a post with its chain, and then you wonder, what if someone came and stole the bike? Besides, how are these big chains made? Are they strong enough? Well, we have the answers to your questions. In fact, it's quite simple. They are made in several steps. First, a large roll containing the steel wire is unwound, and the wire passes through a guide ring which, as its name suggests, guides it to the drawbox. During the short journey, the wire passes through a grease tray in order to lubricate it afterwards by a die in order to equalize the diameter of the wire on the whole roll. Then comes the pulling drum which pulls the wire towards the forming machine. This one consists in forming the link in two parts. A tool called a jaw will push the wire forward, while another ultra-powerful jaw will bend it around a pin to make a C. Then, the little loop will be turned around, so the next wire will go in without any problem, and another link will close on it thanks to the same procedure. The operation continues in this way until the whole chain is formed. After that, the chain is treated in a heat treatment coil, which will overheat it until it reaches a temperature of 940 degrees Celsius, and then it will be plunged directly into cold water to create the thermal shock. And then a second hot water bath will be done before the chain is ready. The purpose of this procedure is to strengthen and reinforce the iron of the chain and make it more resistant. You find this procedure quite long, don't you? Luckily, it's over, so you can now go back to your business. Have peace of mind now. You know that there is very little chance that your bike will be stolen. Buddhist decorations have always fascinated you, and you wonder how they can manage to create such intricate designs on materials such as wood. Come with me. I will show you a marvel of technology, a real nugget. This machine is a kind of giant printer with a woodcutter, which has the function of reproducing a design. While carving the wood as it goes along, the machine reproduces with perfection the drawing that has been ordered from the software, respecting the smallest details. No more traditional wood carving, where you had to use a dozen tools to hit with a hammer until noon to get an imperfect design. Too much dust there? It bothers you? Well, you don't have to stay there. The machine takes care of everything. Now you know who is behind these sublime drawings. You are driving to your grandmother's house in the country, when all of a sudden you come across a huge truck from which a liquid is flowing in a regular way at the back. This is a recent and modern method of paving asphalt. You've never seen such an operation with your own eyes, and you want to see the show. Intrigued, you stop for a few moments to admire this incredible ultra-modern machine, with which the asphalt paving on the roads is done in a very short time. It is a real jewel, a revolution in the construction world. While years ago workers were busy pouring asphalt on the roads by hand and rollers came to level the layer, today everything is done in a single quarter of an hour. The machine is a truck with huge tanks of asphalt at the back connected to a row of smaller channels that eject the liquid onto the road in an even and uniform manner as the vehicle moves forward. The spectacle is admirable, but the smell of the asphalt, as well as the noise the machine makes, give you an unbearable headache. So much so that you decide to take the road again. At least you know about one of the most modern techniques of road construction. 
Have you bought beautiful curtains for your bedroom, but you don't have anything to tie them with? You need a rod. This is a very important item, which you have not thought of, but which is indispensable for hanging your curtains. You decide to order one on the net, and you go directly to an online shopping site. And while you are choosing from the range of models offered, a question starts to nag at you. How are these iron bars so beautifully decorated? We have the answer. Take a good look at this machine. It consists in shaping the iron bar according to the decoration that has been programmed for it. You insert the blank steel bar through a rotating roller with a mold. This roller rotates according to the decoration you wish to apply to the iron bar. Finally, the bar comes out on the other side molded, as if it were modeling clay. You've wasted a few minutes of your time, but now you know how rods are made and have an answer to your question. So, are you done choosing? You've arrived at the city's newly opened shopping center, and you want to park your car in the huge outdoor parking lot, a gigantic space with a capacity of at least 100 cars, brand new and clean. And while you are parking your car, you think to yourself, the workers who painted this lot must have had a hard time doing it with a roller. And no, think again. For a few years now, there has been a more efficient, faster, and more practical technique, and it is a pleasure for the eyes of those who watch. In fact, the worker who is painting the parking lot simply uses a huge squeegee and not a traditional paint roller. He pours the paint on the floor and simply spreads it with a squeegee so that it covers the entire surface evenly. Is the smell of the paint a little overwhelming? Hurry back to the mall. Now you know what to use the next time you want to refinish your floor. You've just had a hectic weekend due to the terrible storms and flooding in your neighborhood. Thankfully, the lull has returned and you are more relieved. However, your yard and the road in front of your house need a little sweeping, and not just any sweeping. To remove and clean up all that mud, you already see yourself spending the whole week between the garden hose that has holes all over it and that you never thought of changing, and the old squeegee lost in the garage. Don't panic! We have the solution for you. We've recently created the state-of-the-art multi-channel super broom, capable of ejecting powerful jets of water, enough to remove the last 10 years of grime and maybe remove all the tile and asphalt with it. Not only will you be able to clean in the front of your door, but every time your city is threatened by floods or other disasters, you will be in a hurry to clean up because it is so fast, practical, and easy to do. Well, you won't be the classiest person in the neighborhood in the eyes of the neighbors, that's for sure. But at least you'll be the cleanest and the most up-to-date with the latest cleaning products. You like to disconnect from the world and enjoy the mountain air. You decide to take a few days off and go to your great uncle's house in the middle of the mountains. When you arrive at the house, you notice that it's freezing cold there. Your uncle asks you to go and chop wood for the fire. Ugh, that's not your cup of tea. You, what you like, is rather de grandouillet near the chimney with your cup of hot chocolate. The forced work, no thank you, it is not made for you. Unfortunately, you'll have to do it anyway, because as your great uncle would say, the fire won't light itself. That's when you pick up the old-fashioned axe and start chopping logs in any way you can. In the end, you only manage to cut a few small pieces. Well, let me tell you something. There is a huge machine, which was created for those who don't want to get their shirt wet. You know who I'm talking about. This machine consists in inserting a huge tree trunk, and it takes care of the rest. The log goes through a big stationary axe, which will cut and reduce it to logs. I don't hide from you that this machine is so impressive that it is terribly frightening. Beware of taking the wrong step and falling in, but how would you like to have it there now? It would save you a lot of effort. Now that you've finished daydreaming, take your ax and chop the wood. Wasn't it you who said you liked the mountain air? Well, you won't be using it anytime soon, but you do have a gift idea for your great uncle for his next birthday. The man you see in these pictures has a pretty tough temperament. When he has a goal in mind, he will do anything to achieve it. So much so that he set out to create a knife that could cut through steel as if it were a log of butter. In front of the cameras, the man demonstrates. He grabs a sharp knife and starts cutting pieces of steel, tapping them with a hammer. He succeeds after several hard blows, but it must be said, the poor guy really struggles to do it. Most of the time, the steel pieces end up running away, especially since the knife still doesn't have a handle. He should think about it. He would suffer much less. Still, he is one of the few people, or maybe even the only person in the world, who can cut steel with a knife. He will still have taken up the challenge. So, what do you think of these incredible machines? Which one do you find the most practical? Tell us what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss any of our upcoming videos.